<sighs> with you in a second. I'm uh, doing something that's very important. It's called brushing your teeth. These things are your teeth. This thing is called a toothbrush. Now, maybe you want to go back and look at a video that I've done about crazy words in English, why we don't call it a teeth brush. But this is called a toothbrush. And I want you to know a little secret. Actually, it shouldn't be a secret. Use one of these every day. Brush your teeth three times a day, yeah? With this stuff called toothpaste. Cultural tip here, vocabulary lesson at the same time, is when you speak to other humans, other people, doesn't matter about dogs, they don't care, sometimes your breath smells like you ate poo. So, this wonderful stuff is called toothpaste. And you put this on your toothbrush and you brush your teeth. Today I'm going to tell you about this thing that I don't really want to have to tell you about, but some of you guys out there need it. It's called basic hygiene. So this all started yesterday. Um, I was at the gym, working out in the machine, minding my own business, having a great time, and all of a sudden, there's another lady beside me. Wow! She reeked. Reek means smelled really, really badly. Like I wanted to die. Um, she interrupted my workout actually. So I understand you're at a gym, okay, and you're going to sweat. But you don't need to smell like poo before you walk into the gym. I'm not going to go into description of exactly what she smelled like, but let's say it's a man's body part mixed with some poo and an armpit. That's as far as we're going. So we have this amazing new discovery, not that new, called deodorant. Now, deodorant is also called antiperspirant. You put this stuff here. This is called your arm pit. It's a pit of arm. Use this stuff, both of them, put them on both of your armpits to prevent you smelling like a dirty monster, for example. So rule number one, please, please, please wear deodorant. Maybe in your country, you don't wear deodorant. That's cool. Guess what? Please try. Because when you come to a North American city, Canada, America, well, other cities, doesn't matter where you're going, and you're on the subway, and you're not wearing deodorant, and Ronnie's head is here, you could kill me. You could actually kill people on the subway who's, yeah, see, there's a bell of death. You could kill people on the subway because of your armpit smell. So please, this guy, deodorant, wear it. After you do this, before you do this, you're going to do this. This is a verb called bathe. You might say, hey, Ronnie, you spelt bath with an E, but it's actually a verb called bathe. It's kind of an old word. Um, so bathing means you take a shower every day. Yeah. You think, it's Friday. I'm not going to take a shower. No, guess what? You're going to take a shower every day. You can also take a bath. Now, a bath is different from a shower. When you are in a shower, you stand up, turn on the water, and the water comes from above like magic. When you take a bath, you fill the bathtub with water and you sit, you can relax, you can have a good time in the bathtub, get a rubber ducky, quack, quack, quack. You can get some bubble bath going on, bubble bath. But please do one of these things, do both. Take five showers, it doesn't matter, but please make sure that you do this every day. Every day, okay? Every day. Two words. Every day take a shower or a bath. This is a thing called soap. It smells nice. Some of them smell not nice, but this one actually smells good. So this stuff is called soap. This stuff is what you use to wash on your body, rub it on your body, makes your body smell good, takes away the stench. Um, next up, brush your teeth. Yes, yes. Dentists recommend three times a day. Ronnie recommends at least once before you go to school. 
before you go to your work, before you get anywhere where there's other people. At least if you wake up in the morning or the afternoon at night after you're sleeping, please brush your teeth. I don't want to smell what you had for dinner last night. It's disgusting. Sometimes when I speak to people, I almost die because of their bad breath. Bad breath comes from smoking, not brushing your teeth, drinking coffee, and the food you eat. So if I'm talking to you and you have bad breath, you're going to see my face do this, and you're going to see me do this. Because I don't want to talk to you if you have bad breath. Um, so ways to avoid this. <laughs> Mouthwash. Mouthwash is a liquid. We have brands um, that you, they're very strong. You put them in your mouth, there's alcohol. Don't drink it. I know that you're tempted to drink it because there's alcohol in it. It's not that kind. Um, so you put it in your mouth, spit it out. Don't swallow it, okay? Um, next thing you can do is floss. Now, floss is a noun and a verb. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my pocket floss today, but floss is like a string. You put it in between your teeth and you floss with the floss. It's also called dental floss. So we have butt floss and that means like a really small underwear, but we're not going to talk about that in this lesson. So dental floss is a noun and the verb is to floss. As I told you, you need a toothbrush and toothpaste. Let's say that you don't have a lot of money to buy these things. Uh, I recommend going to a dentist and just saying, hi dentist, can I please have some toothbrush shiz and some toothpaste? I'm sure the dentist will give it to you just because they can and they're free. Um, there's another important thing you have to do. You got to wear clothes. Okay. I know that I joke about not wearing pants a lot. Um, I got to go out and wear pants again, but make sure that your pants are clean and your shirt, everything, everything that you wear, make sure to clean. You don't have to wash your clothes every day, but please make sure that your clothes are clean. And you can do this by doing the sniff test. So you take your pants and sniff them. If they smell bad, do not put them on, okay? If they smell bad to you, they're going to smell bad to other people. Sometimes you leave your clothes in the washer too long and you forget to put them in the dryer or you forget to hang them up. Guess what? These clothes, you need to wash them again because they smell moldy. They smell old or musty. It smells disgusting. Oh, mine smells good. So please wear clean clothes. Wear clothes. Make sure they're clean. Yeah, it's important. Um, some people like to wear perfume. Okay? Perfume is what women wear. Men wear cologne. So if you're a man, you don't want to say, I wear perfume. You want to say, I wear cologne. So perfume is for women and cologne is for men. Now, sometimes I will encounter other humans that I think they have a bath in this stuff. They spray the whole container. Axe is a very good example of this. Axe is a, is a brand sponsorship acts <clears throat> and I think people think it's like a one dose can so they just spray the whole can on them and then they go out into public and there's basically a cloud of smoke it's disgusting you don't need a whole bottle okay of this stuff a little is enough you just want to spray a little bit to smell nice um, and you have to be careful with colognes and perfumes now because many people um, have an allergy to scents so you will see signs in schools or public buildings that says, please don't wear perfume or cologne because somebody who works here is allergic to your perfume. So if you follow the basic steps, you don't even need perfume or cologne. Take a shower or bath, clean your clothes, brush your teeth. Basic hygiene. This is how you make friends. Like I said, if, if I'm somewhere or I meet someone, they could be the most beautiful boy or girl in the world. If I talk to them and they smell bad, I'm out. Oh, I can't handle it. Bye.